Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Feast Papercraft and today I'm going to show you how to do this uh, beautiful rainbow glitter or rainbow glimmer uh, card. This is actually the card I sent out to my niece to congratulate her on her A-level results this year. Um, so obviously this month's class is all about uh, slimline class, uh, cards. So I'll just show you how I did this one quickly. So first of all, I'm going to stamp um, the hippo from the um, Hippo Happiness. It's a two-step uh, stamp. So I am going to start off with this piece. No, I'm not. I'm going to start off with the... Uh, yeah, I will start off with this piece. Just trying to think how I'm doing it. Sorry, I lost what I was doing then for a minute, which is not unusual for me. I don't think it really matters. It's whichever piece you're comfortable with, and I'm using um, Misty Moonlight, one of the new ink colours. Let's stamp a little hip about. There we go, and then. In balmy blue, I'm stamping out the second piece. Make sure that's nicely covered. And excuse if you see my head as I just try and line this up. There we go. Take your time. Now obviously with the craft boxes what I can't do is send out stamped images so I'll send you out the die cuts of the hippopotamus and you can um, uh, colour him in any way you want to or her in. This one is a her. Right, now I need to find... Right there. And just with some memento, just fill in the face details. Okay, and again, take your time, line it up. But don't worry if it's not perfect, because it doesn't really matter. It's just a nice, friendly hippopotamus. I'm also going to stamp out the flower, and I'm using another in colour. I'm using uh, Magenta Madness for this. I'm going to get all my stamping done, then we'll die cut it all out. There we go. And then finally, well not finally, the balloon. I need to stamp out the sentiment as well. So we'll just do the balloon. And that's in Bumblebee, another in colour. And then the sentiment. Hip hip hooray. Oops. With photopolymer stamps, if you let them fall to your desk and pick them up from there, you'll know you won't have distorted them. It can be easy to distort um, uh, photopolymer stamps. They stretch and move around just the nature of the, the material. Let them drop to the desk like that and then pick them up it can be helpful. So I've sorted all my dies out. I'm just going to die cut it out um, through the machine. Back with you in a minute. So I've got all my bits and pieces cut out, so now all I need to do is uh, layer it up and stick it all together and get some glue. Uh, my children have been up my glue, so they're all a bit mucky and a bit the, the wrong way up. Hey ho, it's been the summer holidays. I like these slimline cards, they're just a nice shape, I find. I 
and it's a very simple card and like I said I used it for my niece who's um, 18 she got her A level results and she quite liked it so hopefully if it's not too young or too babyish that it can be used for quite, quite a few different people I think let's put the hippo down first there's our hippo and then I'm going to dab a little bit of glue on the back of my hand obviously just test this out make sure there's nothing in the glue that you're allergic to before you do that I know some people can be sensitive I don't know if this is latex glue I don't know what Tombow has in it there you go or of course you could use the self-adhesive um, sticker sheets there we go put our string up there we'll put the balloon on another dimensional because we like dimensionals okay and then we're going to put our uh, um oh i forgot the little hole that little hole piece is so tiny um so just look carefully in your bags in your box for it all the card pieces are bagged individually so hopefully you can find find it but just be careful because it is just there we go that's fine oh, have i got any all right a mini one for the flower And this again, I'm just going to use the glue on the back of my hand. Such a tiny piece of stuff, but hey ho. And make it a hippo unicorn. Hippocorn? She's a hippocorn. There you go. Right, so the last thing is we just need a gem for the flower. Use any gems that you've got. What have I got? Uh, there we go. Just a basic rhinestone will do. And there we go. And that is the card. Very simple to do. Very quick and very easy. Thank you very much.